I'm going through a midlife crisis. Maybe you are too. Let's talk about what we can do to get through this together. But first, Maestro, hit me the intro. We are all very different people. We come from different walks of life. We have our own stories. We have different dreams and aspirations. But there is something that binds us all together. At the end of the day, we are all trying to beat the clock. We are all trying to find our way. Hi, my name is Carl, and welcome to SMA. Hi, friends. Welcome to SMA. Here we discuss the issues, build connections, and inspire the lives of those of us who are going through middle age. For many people, middle age can mean diff many different things. Maybe you think of Billy Crystal driving a herd of cattle across an open plain in Colorado while his wife's at home hoping that he finds a smile. Maybe you think of an older man dating a woman half his age trying to regain that spark. The Office of National Statistics, and that's easy for you to say, in 2015 ran some data on people dealing with middle age. And what they found was that between the ages of 45 and 59, that that's the stage of life where people are most likely to find the least amount of happiness and satisfaction. And in fact, at the same time, at those same ages of 55, or sorry, of 45 to 59, they also found that anxiety was at its highest point. So this area, this age that we call middle age, is probably the time when we are going to be our least happy. And that's just sort of a sad thing to think about. Now that all sounds pretty bleak. I mean, that's a good way to lose an audience right there. But I don't think it has to be that way. In fact, I'm beginning to find that this is the happiest point of my life. And I think it could be that for you too. So let's talk about how we can get there. But first, let's talk about how I developed the midlife crisis. So back in 2014, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law got married in Hawaii. Beautiful place, you ever get a chance, that's the place you need to go. We were unsure whether or not we would go. We had to figure out what we were going to do with our kids. Uh, we have four kids and to get them in different locations is going to be difficult. We didn't really have the money set aside for it. But then the more we thought about it, the more we thought, well, you know what, if we don't do it now, we are never going to do it. So while we were in Hawaii, I learned three very important things. Three life-changing things that were both positive and also, in the end, led to my midlife crisis. The first and most important is I remembered how much I loved my wife. We, like I said, we have four kids and the hustle and bustle of everyday life of moving them from place to place, of all the things that go on with being a parent, I think we forgot how much we enjoyed each other's company. But in Hawaii, when it was just the two of us, we had a chance to reconnect in a way that we hadn't in years. Okay, so, point number two. When I went to Hawaii, one of the things that really stood out to me was the beauty of the place. It was magnificent. We saw waterfalls, black sand beaches, and it made me realize uh, that I wanted to see more of the world. And let me give you an idea of why I feel that way. So uh, I was born here in Chicago, Illinois. That's where my mom's family is from and most of them still reside there. Uh, my mom uh, moved to Gary, where my dad's family is from. And so all my school years are spent here between Chicago and Gary. I went to multiple schools, we moved quite a bit, but all of it was in that corridor between northern Indiana and uh, in Illinois, uh, the Chicago area of Illinois. Uh, my mom got divorced uh, and she bought a place up in northern Michigan. So I moved when I was 18 from Gary all the way up north. I did not actually go into, the, into, the, into Lake Michigan. And I moved to out, just outside of Frankfurt. And I went to a college uh, NMC here at Traverse City. And that's where I met my lovely wife, Kimmy. And, uh, you know, yada, yada, yada. In our mid-20s, we got married. We actually got married down here in South Bend. Um, we lived there for a couple of years. And my wife 
what really loved the Traverse City area, so she used all of her beauty and feminine wiles to get me to move all the way back up here again to Traverse. And this is where we've been for 20 years. Um, so if you look at my life, you can see that I basically grew up in the Midwest. And what I really wanted to do was see the world. And so that was a big thing that came out of that was I wanted to see more things like Hawaii. And so uh, pretty much every year since then, we've taken uh, one, and in some cases in 2016, two vacations. And it's allowed us to see more things. So that was a, that was a big turning point for me. So the third thing that I learned while I was in Hawaii was I learned about how I'd never taken a shot in life. We did this tour, this biking tour down the side of this mountain, this volcano. We had this great guy, and I think I'll put his picture up here. His name was Kimo, and he had these great stories. If you ever get to Hawaii, find Kimo, <laughs> definitely take a bike tour ride from him, or any other thing he's doing, because he's great. But whenever he would tell his stories, the stories would always end with, so, or start actually with, so we finished our beers, and then we X, Y, Z. In some cases, it was, it was getting in the shopping cart and went down the side of the mountain. It just got me thinking about my life, that I've always been very cautious. I've always been very careful about things. I've never taken a shot. I've wanted to do things like start a comic book store. Uh, I looked into starting a church at one time several years ago. I thought about becoming a paid dungeon master. I, tried, I thought about all these things, but in the end, I always backed out, and that bothered me. So I got back from Hawaii and I had these three things that I hadn't done and th three things that I wanted to work on. One, I needed to spend more time with my wife. Two, I wanted to travel more and see the world. And three, I wanted to take a shot. And for the record, this is me taking a shot. So where did that leave me? Well, I came home and I had this great trip, so I had this really satisfied feeling about that, but also unsatisfied with where I stood in life. You know, in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the number 42 is supposed to be the ultimate answer to any question or to the meaning of life. But for me, 42 was my age, and it was a scary number because it meant that I was probably halfway through my walk in this world and I hadn't finished everything that I wanted to get done. So, how did I deal with it, you may ask? And you probably are, since you're sitting here watching this. Well, that's what this channel is gonna be about. Every Tuesday, we're gonna take the time to break down a different area and try to find ways that you and I can improve our lives to make them the best they can be, to be even more full than they already are, and to live the kind of lives we've always desired to have. So, what can you expect from this channel? Well, here's the Carl promise to you. I have three things that I'm shooting for with every video. The first is I would like to be thought provoking. I want you to walk away from each of these videos with something to think about, something to roll around. Hopefully I'm gonna have some tips to help you improve your life, but on those times that I don't, hopefully I should also be able to give you something that makes you think throughout the day. So I find that thinking about something often helps me come around to a solution to it, even if I can't find it from somebody else. Point two, the second thing I want to accomplish is this channel should be fun. Hopefully I've given you a few things that might have made you smile a little bit. If not, we'll try next time. But I want these things to be fun though. My favorite thing in this world to do is to laugh. And hopefully I can bring a little laughter to you. Point three, I want to inspire you. You should walk away from these videos feeling a little bit better. I have bleak subject matter, I, I understand that. Being middle-aged, talking about raising children, parents getting older, all the things that go along with middle age, it can sound bad, but I think there are great things that can come out of this, and I want to point you to those things so that when you walk away, you feel a little inspired to take on life. Oh, but wait, there's a fourth thing. I happen to live in Northern Michigan, one of the most beautiful places in all of North America. So, particularly when it gets warmer than this, because it's like 20 out here and kind of cold and I'm not that big of a snow guy. But I want to show you some of the things that make Northern Michigan the beautiful place that it is. And so I'm going to show you around. You'll get to know my hometown. You'll get to know me. Eventually get to know my family. So I think we're going to have a great time together.
Thank you for stopping by. Feel free to leave a comment in the blah blah below. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe. If you'd like to be notified whenever a new video uploads, be sure to ring that bell. That was weird. So see you next Tuesday when we're going to talk about building the basics for a plan to help us improve our lives. So we'll see you then. Same bad time, same bat channel.